everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really sweet bunt-in cards. I did make these on Wednesday during my Facebook Live for Hobby Base, but again, as I've said before, not all of you here have Facebook, so I wanted to share it on YouTube as well so you get to see it and hopefully make it yourselves. So these are the two that I made during the live, and it was using the Paper Addicts Ahoy There paper pack. Really, really nice. The reason I purchased this one was because it's a completely different kind of... Um, colours really to what you would normally have with a nautical theme so there's more purples and then blues and pinks and it just yeah lovely really enjoyed this one I'll share all the links because this is really good value for money as well so I just show it a bit closer and it just opens like so and they stand up really nicely like that really really cute you can see that one there and again that one there Okay, so again, all the um, product that are used in this, mainly it's just fussy cut kind of pictures from the papers. This is using the shell dye from the Under the Sea by First Edition, and I just stamped the little sentiments there myself. But the one I'm going to be making today is using the V&A 2 collection, and I haven't used this for a while, and I thought I wanted to create something a little bit vintage. Um, so this is what I've gone for. So this is the paper pack. I have many tutorials using this collection and you can find all of them over on Pinterest. I do have a trim craft pin um, board and you'll find all the paper packs all on there as well. So this is what I've gone for today. I've already gone and cut all my papers and then I'm going to be using the bows which I've already pulled out which are here. I've already prepared the bunting but that's what it looks like here. You get the string and all the little triangles and different sizes. I'm going to use some ribbon so I'll keep that out. I might use the frame, I'm not sure. And I've also got the sequin mix there as well. And and these are by Dove Crafts, it's part of the same company but obviously not the same collection. But the birthday wishes here, I thought the colour would match really well so that's the sentiment that I'm going to be using. Okay so like I said I've already prepared everything, I don't know if I'm going to be using obviously all these flowers and I've already gone ahead and fussy cut these little ones here. Um, as well. So the size of the card is slightly different to what I usually do because usually I do 5x7 or I do 6x6. This was actually from a 6x6 card base so this is how this started off. So that's the piece I cut off to make it a top folding card and you just want to remove, so you want to cut this so it's four and a quarter. Okay so you're just cutting off this piece here. If you don't have a 6x6 pre-made card base, then you will need to cut you will need to cut a piece of 12 by 4 and a quarter, and along the 12 inch side you want to score at 6. Fold it in half and it will give you a card base. Okay, so that's that piece. Then for your mats and layers, I've got this one here which is 4 by 5 and a quarter, and then I've got this one here which is 3 and 3 quarters by 4 and 7 eighths of an inch. Okay, and then just what you need to decorate. Okay, so first of all, with your card blank, you want to make sure you obviously you've scored it there and you've got your fold at the top. Along the open side, you want to mark the halfway marker. So because it's four and a quarter, you're going to mark at two and one eighth of an inch, like so. Okay, and then you want to come up two inches. So I'm going to use my T squared ruler because it's just easy. And I'm going to line that up there, and then with a pencil, I've already done this, but I'm showing you, you just want to come up two inches, okay, like so. Then with your mat, again, you want to find the halfway marker, so this is four inches, so you're going to mark it two, and then you're going to come up by two, okay, so again, just going to line that up there, and just come up two inches. Okay, and then with this one here, I'm going to flip it over because I've got the pattern there and it's easier for you to see. So this one here is three and three quarters. So you're going to mark at one and seven eighths of an inch. And again, you want to come up two inches. Make sure that catches on the bottom there. Okay, so you should have your three pieces like this. And then we want to do some cutting. So I'm going to cut these ones first. And all you want to do now, you may want to do a line from the top of that middle score line down to each corner. I just cut mine freehand, but if you would rather do that to make sure you get a straight line, then obviously you can do. But you basically just want to cut up from the point to the centre. 
make sure you get a nice crisp point okay like so and then with this one here again you can cut up the middle first if you would prefer and then you can just follow these scissors are nice and long which is why I love them because I can do this now in one cut like so and then again come right across like so now if you lay this one over the top fingers crossed there we go you get a really nice border okay I could afford actually to go up a little bit I'm going to just take this in just ever so slightly because when I measured it I did think I did come up I'm going to come in I'm still cutting up to that middle one but I'm just coming up a little bit there on the edge and then kind of just blend it back in again let me just see there ah yeah I'm happy with that it's just a bit thicker here it went a bit thin so yeah you may need to just take a little bit off there but whether I just cut that slightly wrong I'm not sure but that's what you want to have there and then you're going to do the same with this so if you cut through both pieces you may go off slightly it's a bit like if you cut lots of pages in a book or something so if you open it up and do one at a time so if you do this top one and again like so and then lie it down and then just trace like so and open it up and do the other side and by doing it this way you just get it nice and lined up there we go okay so that's that one all done I'm just going to burnish that out a bit better there because it was a bit bouncy right so now you've got that one will go on top there and then you've got that one which will go on top there and as I mentioned in my live if you are you know a little bit funny here or you've cut it too much one way by the time you decorate it if you look on these here you can't even see that part of the card it all gets covered with your decoration so again I like these kind of cards because you can hide any little you know bits like that that you may not be happy with so now we need to stick it all down but I before I stick mine down because now it's just a matter of decorating so it is a really quick card to do I think I want to wrap a piece of ribbon through one of the yeah, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this one down first so I'm just going to run a little bit of glue this is a kind of a like a textured fabric you can hear it there so I don't want to go too mad so I'm just going to pop that one down like so and then this one here just need to check how I'm roughly going to have things displayed yeah so I think I'm going to have it about there quite near the bottom so I'm just going to snip that piece off there and then I'm going to use some of my red tape here and just wrap that around okay and then again I'm going to stick that about just above the roses there so you get to see all that nice pretty print flick it over and then I can just stick those inside make sure everything else is nice and flat and then actually what I might do is pop this all on foam adhesive just to give it a little bit of dimension just pop three strips through this I think oh just run out of that one so I think this is the same width lay that one down make sure you get your sides nice and even okay so that's that piece and then start decorating it so I've got this bunting so I'm going to have this kind of coming like that there we go the bunting looks really sweet and then I've got these sprigs I've got a flower so and I've got my sentiment that I might not even use those really big ones actually I might just use pop these on some foam adhesive and have these three something like that I've got my butterfly which I'll probably have up there I've got the bow which I may not even use and then I've got these green pieces and then I have the birthday wishes which is going to be somewhere here so I'm going to pop this on high speed now and stick this all down
Okay, so I've decorated that, so now I just want to add a little bit of sparkle. So I'm just bringing in a few of these little um, sequins, and I'm just going to add a few of them kind of dotted around. Add one there, one there, let's pop one in here, and let's do one over here, and we do one up here as well. I like to do odd numbers, and let's do another pinky colour. And there you go guys, there is my finished card. I think that is really cute. Just very quick to do. It's nice if you've got a collection where everything matches and pretty much everything's done for you. The bunting was already, the sentiment, the ribbon. I just fussy cut those pieces and die cut that one there, but really, really pretty. So there's that one and I'll bring those two up again for you just to see all the different bits and pieces on it there. I've got little rosette on that one as well. They were from the Dovecraft Back to Basics collection. So yeah, really, really pleased with these. These are my bunting cards and I think they're really cute. So I hope you liked today's quick tutorial. I hope you give it a go. Hope you all have a lovely weekend. I'll be back on Sunday with a scrapbook layout and I'll be back Monday with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.